Hey, what's going on guys? I hope your day is going well. It's the Infla on the table here. Today we have the fifth consecutive inflatable review in the week of inflatables. This is the 9 foot airblown monster inflatable from Lowe's. I got this back in 2015. I think I got it for somewhere around $50. I can't quite remember the exact price. But anyway, let's go ahead and unbox it. I do not have the box for it. I lost it somewhere. I don't know where it is. So I can't quite remember what stakes this inflatable came with, but I know that I don't like them or I didn't like them. So I replaced them with these tent peg stakes I got from my local hardware store. And they work pretty well. They're a pain in the butt to take out of the ground, but they definitely do the job. It amazes me that this is the first inflatable in the week of inflatables to not use the Rudolph adapter. It's just crazy. This one's like a brick. I mean, it weighs probably two or three times as much as the Rudolph one, and it works pretty well. You can see it's got some dirt on it. Nothing too bad. Set it down. It comes with four tethers. Go ahead and take them out of the container. Lay them down. Go ahead and try to at least dump the inflatable out of the plastic tote. Go ahead and spread it out here. Kind of just roll it. That worked out pretty well. There's its head, arms. Spread it out as much as I can. Or as much as my patience will allow me to. Yeah, that'll be good. I'll go ahead and put the adapter box, the stakes, and the tethers back in the plastic container because they are taking up a bit of space. Not really space, just they're kind of an eyesore when I actually inflate the inflatable. So now I'll go ahead and plug the wire into the adapter. Screw it in to lock it in place. Nice and tight. Alright, so I've time-lapsed this clip because it's got a cheap fan. I have no idea why Jimmy would be so stupid. It's got a cheap fan and it takes forever to inflate. So that's why I've done time-lapse. I hope you guys can forgive me. I figured I wouldn't cut the clip because it wouldn't be an inflation if I did that. So I figured I would compromise and do a time-lapse because I want this video to not go by fast, but at least be swift in its editing and um, overall just visuals. Here's its shoes or feet, mainly just stabilization. And it's purple pants. It's got an orange shirt, and when the shirt and the pants meet, Jimmy wanted to, I guess, create a torn effect, so they kind of just cut in these triangles. Here's its arms, they're in the Frankenstein motion. I don't really understand why Jimmy just didn't call this Frankenstein. Maybe it's copyrighted, I don't know. Here's its head. It looks pretty dumb. It reminds me of the ogre from Harry Potter. So that hair at the top is very reminiscent, or it might just be the same thing as the base of the 2017 Purple Reaper. I say 2017 because it's purple. Its mouth is a pretty basic design. It's not really anything too exciting, at least in my opinion. It's got four tether loops in total. Two on the top. And then two on the bottom. It has three lights overall. One behind the head. One in the mid body range and one in its pants. <laughs> Here's an up close with the zipper. You can see the zipper is actually pretty long for a cheap fan. Here's the dreaded cheap fan. I have no idea why Jimmy didn't put a freaking base fan on it. Such lazy people. Here's a side view. In my personal opinion, the side view shows how tall this inflatable really is. I mean, it's a nine footer. It's big. Here's the back view. Regarding its height, I mean, that only adds to the argument of why doesn't it have a base fan. Here's me standing in the road, zoomed in on my camera. This is a really good shot. 
I apologize for the sun, it's glaring a little bit, especially in this shot right here. It looks really good. I do like this inflatable. The fact that it doesn't have a base fan sucks, but it's still nice, it's still a good design. So now we'll transition to nighttime. This inflatable does really well at night. Those three lights actually do light it up. Pretty well, at least. Now, something I forgot to mention is that this inflatable has a prototype, and I'm going to show you the image of that prototype right now because you'll see how dumbed down this inflatable was. Even though it was dumbed down, I still like the design, but now you see what this inflatable could have been, but you also see if you did notice that there's a black cord leading off of that prototype at the very bottom of it and that means that it would have had a cheap fan with a 12 footer which is absolutely insane that tells me Jimmy was out of their minds but yeah it's kinda like maybe this one was the better version because it was smaller and it had a cheap fan but still I really hope you guys enjoyed my review of the 9 foot monster Frankenstein inflatable if you did, please leave a like. If you are new to the channel, subscribe. And I will see you guys next time. Peace out. Stay safe. Bye.